Hello, friends and fam. Hey, uh, just wanted to share a little bit with you. Here, a few days ago, I shared a uh, post on my page, and it was basically a copy and paste of an oath of allegiance to the United States. And on that post, I simply asked if anyone recognized it, and if they did, if they would comment, please, and what it meant to them. So what it means to me is it's an oath of allegiance to the United States of America because I'm a naturalized citizen. It was something that I partook of and was proud to do so when I became a citizen. It was a swearing in ceremony <clears throat> and it was a special moment. Now, you know, I grew up for the majority of my life here in the United States and I, I count it as a privilege and an honor. And it means a lot to me. You know, this, this, this homeland that I call home is a special place. I was born in the country of Mexico, down deep in the heart of Mexico, in an old community, uh, a community that had no electricity, running water, sewage, any of that stuff. We had a very small home. We had, from what I recall, we had one sink or basin with a single faucet of cold water and that water the source of that water was from a water well that had a windmill attached to it um you know we had very few modes of transportation we had you know you could walk or you could ride a horse you could hitch your horse to a wagon or you could drive our old tractor you know those are the basic modes of tra transportation within the community <clears throat> and of course you could get to other communities you know that were more modern uh, there was a bus that would come through every once in a while and stuff like that or I'm not even sure if there's a taxi and you know of course there was train for the long trips but uh, it was a very simple time I mean shoot we made homemade soap homemade butter, uh, home goods, you know, for food. We didn't go down to the grocery store, you know, because we're out of milk or out of butter or whatever. Uh, we pretty much self-sufficient in most areas and had a little local community market for some goods, you know, but most everything was self-sufficient and that's the way most of the community provided for themselves. And it was... Uh, simple times but man there were hard times too you know and i am the oldest of eight kids uh my parents worked really hard to become citizens of this country and to make us citizens of this country and you know it was a miracle that they survived their childhood and became adults and it was a miracle that we we're able to come here and become citizens. So this is a special place, a special country. It means everything to me. So that oath of allegiance that I, that I gave, that I made, it was to the country, it was to the Constitution of the United States of America to uphold it, fight for it, live lawfully, be a good citizen, a good pillar of society, so to speak. But uh, I wanted to share that with you. And so if I have most of my postings on my pages be political, I just want you to understand why. And, uh, you know, I look back at history and things that have happened in this country 
I took that oath right at around the time 9-11 happened, the attacks on the World Trade Center. Uh, it was sometime a month or two. If, if memory serves, it was only a few months or so, maybe three months or so before 9-11 happened. And just a few days before 9-11 happened, my ex-wife and I, we, we uh, suffered a miscarriage, what would have been our third child. So those moments in time are just burned into my brain, burned into my memory. <clears throat> and nothing was ever the same after 9-11, and not necessarily for the better. Uh, a lot of people talk about we had a new normal and uh, a lot of trust was broken and a lot of freedoms were slowly voluntarily given up for the sake of security so i just i'd like everybody to just just be cautious about what you're willing to give up for the sake of the quote unquote security that is being offered in my opinion, by the very people that are culpable in allowing some of the dangers that this country faces to come to manifest. You know, I, I'm not speaking from a place of evidence or sources or anything like that. I'm just, these are, these are my thoughts and my feelings on it. This country is a great country. We have a lot to be thankful for and it's worth fighting for to ensure that it be that it remains a great country. Anyway, God bless you. Have a good day. That's what I wanted to share.